Hi, I wanted to demonstrate how to fix this issue on a Pyramix crystal. I've seen a lot of people complain about getting stuck at the last layer because they have two flipped edges, um, or they don't get stuck but they have some complicated way to solve this that involves cycling these edges around over and over and, and, until they are able to resolve this problem. Um, this is a really straightforward issue to solve. Um, I just use an orientation changing commutator to do it. Um, and so the basic idea behind an orientation changing commutator is to flip a piece in place, replace it with a different piece, unflip it, and then undo the replacement. So I'm going to take this piece, this, this green white edge, and I'm going to flip it in place in such a way that I can then replace that piece with this piece um, and undo the whole process. So let me show you how to change the orientation of this piece. Um, I'm going to turn it up here, turn it around, and then keep it there we go. So now it's in the position correctly. All I did was I flipped it in place. Um, and I did so in a way that I can replace it with this piece and notice that everything else on this face is salt. So when I replace it with this piece and then I undo the flipping, okay, and then I undo the replacement, it's solved. Let me show that to you again. Use a different one. Here we go, and I'll show it undone. So flip this in place or replace it, it doesn't matter which one you do first. I'll flip this one in place. Okay, then I'll replace. This is the Y part of the commutator. Now I'm undoing the X part, which was the flip. And then I'm undoing the Y part for it resolved. Now you can see that that flips two pieces that are crossed from each other. If instead you want to flip two pieces that are adjacent to each other, you need to do a setup move. So I'm going to set this piece up right here. Now I'm going to flip those two. So flip this piece in place. Oh crap, hold on. Yikes. Okay, let me undo. It's the problem with demonstrating on a physical puzzle. Okay, now I've undone. Let me try that again. So I'm going to do a, a setup move here to get it, that piece into place. Now I'm going to flip this piece. Okay, now I'm going to do the replacement. I'm going to undo the flip. Undo the replacement. And then undo the setup move. And there we go flipped two pieces next to each other. So let me show you how to undo this. Um, I, I did the setup move this way so that they're crossing each other. Let's uh, let's try something else. Let's try, uh, we could do this setup move right here and then they'd be across from each other. Um, or we could do this setup move here and they'd be across from each other. So we'll, we'll end up doing the mirror of the routine. So there we go. So I'm gonna do this setup move and then I want to flip this piece in place. Okay. And then I'm going to do a replacement and I'm going to undo the flip in place. Undo replacement and then I got to undo the setup move. There we go. So let's count how many moves this takes. The flip a piece in place is one move, two moves, three moves, okay? That means the replacement's one move, so the whole routine's gonna be eight moves. So here we go. So there's move four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight moves, really straightforward. Very easy to think about, and it has a lot of flexibility too, so, so check this out. You wanna flip this piece and say, let's flip this piece and this piece, okay? So what I need to do is I need to do a setup move to get that piece right there, okay? Now I'm gonna flip this piece upside down.
Okay. Now I'm going to replace it with this piece over here. Now I'm going to undo the flip. Now I'm going to undo the replacement. Now I'm going to undo the setup move. There we go. Flip that piece and that piece. As you can see, it's pretty trivial to flip any two edges on this puzzle arbitrarily in eight, eight moves or, or sometimes a few more if you use a setup move. So that was 10 moves because I used one setup move. So you do the setup move, you do eight moves, you undo the setup move. Um, and because the replacement is, is just this one move, you have one, two, three, four options for replacement that aren't just this piece. Um, and that gives you a lot of flexibility, gives you a lot of room to move on this puzzle. So flipping two edges is, is pretty straightforward. Um, so hopefully that commutator was easy to follow, and hopefully you won't have to do any super complicated, uh, super complicated uh, cycling of pieces around or, or anything strange. So have fun. Good luck.